Uh, let's get to headlines brought to you by Doral Hyundai. Choose from over 1,300 new Hyundai models in inventory like the Tucson, the Sonata, and the Palisade. Remember, when it comes to Hyundai, the great deals are at Doral Hyundai. Got a little breaking NFL news here. There's been a lot going on. Uh, Devontae Adams is going to the New York Jets after their uh, their loss last night to the Buffalo Bills. They dropped to 2-4. and four. A team that's 4-2 and two right now, Leroy. NFL Network reporting that the Steelers are going to hand the reins over to Russell Wilson this week at quarterback in spite Whoa. of them being four and two with Justin Fields. Hmm. His calf is fully healed ah. and he will get first team reps this week. They take on the New York Jets on Sunday night football. Be careful though. Mm-hmm. Spicy. I don't know. That could go sideways. Right? I don't know about that. I think I think they maybe have here's what's hard for coaches. It's hard to look at wins and losses when you look at effective offense and effective defense, right? Like you're happy you won, but if you got guys running down the field wide open and your quarterback's not making the plays Mm -hmm. and you think you might have a better option, how do you, what do you do with that? I don't know. You see what I mean? But conversely, if you look at what Indianapolis is going through, they haven't been had more success than when Joe Flacco was starting. They haven't been having more success. They they've had the most success offensively when Joe Flacco was playing quarterback. So even though the quarterback's young and he was winning games, mm-hmm. right? The offense looked better with Joe Flacco. And the Steelers have the whole opposite. Like we got guys open, we're not hitting them. Yeah, but if you're coming off a game a week where you rush for two hundred almost, like I don't know, you just like isn't it doesn't that, matter isn't who the quarterback identity? was. It doesn't matter who the quarterback was, right? That's these are the things you got to kind of have to. They're watching the film. Dude. I know Pickens has been making a stink over there. They're watching the film, and so their job is to not only win games, mm-hmm. but you're trying to put your team in the best position to win games. So what if? Fields is the quarterback, and they're winning games. But you got guys running all through the secondary wide open, and he's not pulling the trigger. How do you look at that? Conversely, you look at Indianapolis, and they're winning games, but you're having more success offensively than you've had all year. and. So, like, sometimes coaches got to make decisions that aren't, you know, that a lot of people would think aren't the best decisions, but they have more information than us. So I'm looking at these two situations. They look similar, but they're really not. And they're both making the opposite choices. Like, I promise you, if if, um, Justin Fields had come in, like Flacco had come in, Justin Fields would still be the coach in Pittsburgh. Quarterback. Quarterback Mm -hmm. would still be. It it is a little different, though. Like, I know you don't, but, like, they don't have the investment in Justin Fields like the the Colts do in Richardson. Yeah, but, but again, I mean, let's think of it this way. They had a big investment in Jordan Love. And he only got to play in his fourth year. Yeah, they had Aaron Rodgers. I'm, but but my point is, is that if he was ready sooner. Yeah, but Aaron Rodgers like one MVPs. I know. But if Jordan Love was ready sooner, he would have played. I believe that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because they look, Aaron Rodgers had a great year before they got rid of him. Yeah. But I think it's it also is one of those things where like, you know, it was frosty. Remember, was he going to retire? You know. And all that stuff. That really has done everything Brett Favre has. Listen, Aaron, take it easy in the uh, after the career, huh? Keep it on the straight and narrow. Um, let's get to a little Canes talk here. All right. Now, the Howard Schnellenberger Trophy is on the Was line that this week. F-A-U-F-I-U? No, that's no? the Shula Bowl. The Howard Schnellenberger Trophy is Miami versus Louisville. Oh, uh, okay. They uh, debuted it last year. Okay. I believe it's bronze boots. Are the uh, is what the trophy looks like? Why would they know. do a pipe? 
Oh, right. that's good. Why would they do a pipe? I really feel like there's a couple missed opportunities. There's a pipe. You wait. All the stories you heard about Aaron, uh, Howard Schlattenberg leaving a pipe leaving at somebody's pipe house. And stuff. The pipe is synonymous with him, right? Not boots. Boots. Uh, how is this not called the Schnellen Bowl? What are we doing here, guys? The trophy will be a bronze pair of boots Schnellenberg wore during his coaching career, donated by his wife, Beverly. Okay, so they're, yeah. So they were his boots. But I'm with you. I understand. I, I, I would go with a pipe. Some kind of pipe. Nothing on the Schnellen Bowl, huh? Boots. Who's he, a cowboy? Tough crowd. Man, like you guys weren't even born. Uh, nope. Yeah. Nope. Uh, but anyway, my uh, Mario Cristobal. Tough. Tough. This is his thoughts on uh, Howard Schnellenberger and the Schnellenberger Trophy. Tough. I can honestly say it was my father's favorite guy. You know, my dad was about as uh, as it can get, and didn't like many people. He loved Howard Schnellenberger, and always uh, envisioned my brother and I playing for Howard Schnellenberger. But at Miami, certainly, you know, Coach Johnson was. My dad felt just as strongly about Coach Johnson, so. His impact um, here, uh, first and foremost, we know what it did, right? Changed everything forever and changed the, the course of history for Miami and for college football. And then um, the impact uh, certainly that he had at Louisville, that he had at FAU, and just for coaches around the country, um, you name it, he did it, you know. And uh, when he referred to him as the godfather for the right reasons, man, he was uh, one of a kind and certainly very missed, but at the same time honored and revered because of all he did. Goosies. Goosies. Tough. Papa Cristobal. Tough. Uh, tough. <laughs> really tough. <laughs> How do you like it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, How do you think Man Campbell's dad was then? I don't know. Woo! <laughs> tough. <laughs> That's tough. Man Campbell's dad was a rock. Not <laughs> the rock. Just, just a rock. Just a rock. <laughs> <laughs> tough. Man, one of the things that the Canes have to change, they suck off the bye week, dude. They've mm -hmm. sucked off the and bye week. They, and they've struggled defensively. Yeah, but the bye week, that's been a thing way too long. Yeah. Sucking off the bye week. Well, here, can I... We well, take situations and put something on them and I, I look at it totally different like yeah you weren't as good as you are now like this team is good so losing in a bye week on a season where you end up eight and four or seven and five like yeah you weren't good it didn't matter when those games were being played the bye week ain't have nothing to do with it you want to know what happened off the bye week uh, who did they play Georgia Tech yeah okay Oh, oh, wait, they had an early bye week last year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, again, that had nothing to do with the players. Sucked. They didn't, what does that have to do with the players? I didn't say players. I said they. Ah. They as a unit. What do you mean? I, didn't, I didn't say. What do you, what do you what mean? They? All of them. All of them. Are they not a team? Or are they not a team? Hey, if I'm, the, if I'm the quarterback, I'm saying all of us didn't say hand the ball off. Here's Mario Cristobal and why they've stunk off the bye week. Well, we've been very true. successful at previous stops at Miami. Our last two years, we have not. The bye stops. And it's 1,000% um, related to the level and urgency of practice and preparation. There's a lot at stake on every game. Every game is a conference game. Every single conference game is a playoff game. Everybody's involved in playoff football right now. There's Everybody's alive. And because of that, you have to be at your very best and you have to understand you're playing against very, very good players. So I think this group understands that much better than we have in the past. And the expectation is that we come out tomorrow and that we do have our best day of practice and preparation, um, meetings, walkthroughs, and everything that goes with it because there's no hocus pocus to it. You got to get right to what needs to be done to have success on set. I mean, you nope. Nope. Mm. Absolutely not. Mm. Are you telling me? With all this stuff you're saying and what he's saying, that you have a different attitude if he took a knee. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know how ridiculous that is? How is it ridiculous? Right. Either win off the bye or you don't win off the bye. Okay. All right. 
Doesn't matter if you lose close. So, so why do? Oh, oh, oh. I'll talk about what you do. So why is it like? So you pick and choose when it's okay to just get a win and when it's not. What? Most people, when they say they get extra, when you when you're a team and you get extra preparation for a team, it's been a thing with Nick Saban or whatever. Like you get that extra prep on a team. If it's a, I'm not saying like, hey, you're going to take on the number one team in the country. I'm talking about like, hey, pretty comparable talent. I think they have better talent than Louisville. They have the best quarterback. And overall, Louisville, I think they have better talent. Louisville quarterback, old. Uh, I think they have more talent than Louisville. Now, mm. Louisville's pretty good, though. Yeah, they are. So, this is going to be their toughest test. Put your tongue back in your mouth, Marcos. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more from old uh, head coach here, Marcos. Point Christmas. for <laughs> I mean, you live in a different world now. I mean, time, good people, hard work, those things have a really good track record, right? We don't, we don't like those things. The word development is like a nasty word in today's society because it takes time, you know? Well, over the last couple of years, we've been developing our culture. We've been developing our standards, our way of thinking and doing where actions carry a lot more weight than words and so i think all those things are much more meaningful i think football university of miami football in particular is really 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 important to our guys and they're starting to understand that um you cannot compromise the things necessary to be successful on saturday if you start skimping on the details of preparation if you start missing out on the finer points of practice and walkthroughs and eye discipline and assignments, well, then you're going to put yourself in a position where you're not going to be happy with the results on Saturday. So so a complete holistic understanding of that is getting better and better, but that process never ends. Human nature is what it is, and you've got to absolutely just get after it every single oh. opportunity that you have to make sure that's at the urgency levels as it relates to that are at the top. Wow. That's tough. Goosey. Can I just tell you? That's Mike McDaniel without the um No, no, no. Yeah, it is. No, that that he didn't ramble. That is official wait, toughness. Close. Wait, wait, wait. That's this answer was a little this familiar. Long. This, this is no. oh, you guys are really, if you don't if you're not revved up after there. that. See, see, th- are you here's up? what here's here's the difference up. between Tobin and me. I can just call it, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter whether I like the guy, dislike the guy. It is what it is. His feelings on how a guy talks, what he says, is based on whether he likes the guy or not. That's a coach. But see what I'm saying? Depends on. So if Mike McDaniel was undefeated right now. He's not. He tried making that argument, by the way, yesterday. I was I, I wanted to jump through the roof. Mike it's McDaniel. true. Oh, get the hell out of here. He was trying to say yesterday some nonsense, Mike McDaniel. He's like, e- this is like the same season as last season because we're facing the, we're just a different time you're facing ever. Shut up. You, you, you're born us to death. So question. So question. What? If you finish the season 12 and five, are you going to make a big deal about when you won the 12 and when you won the five? Because 12 and 5 is all they care about. Do you think they're going to win 12 games the way they look? No, I didn't say. I didn't. Why, do you, why do you say things that aren't going to happen? How many games do you think they're going to win this year? I don't know. You won't even guess. I don't know. Got to see how they look when Tua gets back. I mean, I'll be fair. Let That's me see what it looks like when Tua gets back. Oh, no. So two weeks? He'll be back next week. Okay. That's, don't keep adding days. Just two weeks. It's Tuesday. Okay. You're being cute. Is it not two weeks? He'll be back in a week. He's being technical. <sighs> One more game. Dude, sometimes I want to. Why do you do this? You're you're trying to be cute. (laughs) Not me. You're trying to make it longer. Me. You're the same. (laughs) You manipulate words and do all that stuff. Dade South says players only meeting six and zero during the bye week. That's tough. (laughs) Canes. They had a players only meeting. Yeah. Six and zero players. No one's ever done that while winning. That's true. Cam Ward, locked in. (sighs) Eisman winner. Oh my god, you guys eat. Crap up! Oh God, you got to though. You I mean, this, this is what we, this is Heisman this level crap. stuff, you right? Eat here. this crap. Up. Tell you, yeah. he's trying to ward you off. You know, we have a lot of meetings oh. in this building. You're never that enthusiastic about those. I don't go to those meetings. <gasps> <laughs> exactly. Why? 
Well, not players only. If we had a players only meeting, if it was just you, yeah. me, the on air staff, Joe Rose, oh. Hawk Crowder, if it was just There's Dan Day, no, I would I would be fired yeah. up for that. There's no way you could get us all in one room. Oh, well, you can. That, that, well, I guess it sounds like we're not the Canes. Join us at Whiskey Stars and Cigars. Everyone. Yep. <laughs> Whatever that may be. <laughs> that's, that's where we'll have our meeting. Tell you what they're trying to cam ward off. Hmm? A letdown. Oh, look at that. Ward off. Too much. Like, see, but here's the problem. They don't make that sound effect. Here, here's the. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. We don't know. We don't have a mic. Like, so you know? Here's the problem. Right? You get so gun ho, and look, that's you right there. Greeny with the Aaron Rodgers. That's that. you. That's not. That's me. you. That's, not me. that's you. That's how carried away you get sometimes. No, that's, not, that's not fair. It is. And so I try to like. You know, hey, calm down a little bit, dude, because the like too much. You you don't stop though. Now you got sneaky elephant. You're doing the whole thing. You're telling me how a bunch of kids uh, having a meeting is going to do it. They've no. never done that. Hit that smell yeah. elephant. No, okay. But La- just... last time they did that, Ed Reed was leading the charge. Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, th- Joaquin to dominate. You know what? This defense ain't Ed Reed, so stop. No, of course, of course, of course. Okay. But Cam Ward, ooh, pretty good. Mish Powell did take boots to asses or belts to asses, though. What? Belts. Oh. Comes out. Uh, too much, dude. Calm down. What? I'm I'm excited about this weekend because, again, they've taken care of business to this point. Barely the last two weeks. But this is this is going to be their most difficult test. I think the line was at three and a half last I checked. For where is where is uh Louisville ranked? They're not. They're not ranked. They're not ranked, and you're mm-hmm. only a three and a half point favorite. Mm-hmm. A, and and as home. a top ten school. Yeah. So what is that telling you? I think the Canes have definitely gotten some doubt over the last couple of weeks, but they've come out with wins. Now wins are important. No, the quarterback is incredible. Like I'm, you know, like I'm you not, can't deny that. I'm not. I'm, when have I ever? I don't. Sounds like you are. Now no, I never. I never. Wait, wait, wait. Bit of a denial. I've never said nothing about the quarterback. Uh, oh my goodness. Yes, I, yes. See what I mean? That's why you can't have room. I like you talk about talking, having a conversation with kids, right? I mean, it's like I'm saying, hey, do you want this? Mm. The ice cream's really good. I didn't say crap about the ice cream. I didn't say nothing about Cam Ward. He is awesome. He's if it weren't for that running back going crazy at um Boise Boise State, he would be clearly in the lead. But you got a guy running for almost twelve hundred yards in Very six cool. weeks. Let's see, Mountain West. Oh, still a lot. But well, hey, Barry Sanders won it at Oklahoma State. Well, when are, when are we get into recent history? Okay, he did run for twenty six hundred yards cool. <laughs> in a college college season that has what thirteen games. Did anybody do is this? This okay? That's great. That's oh. right. That's fine. Listen, what I'm talking about right now has nothing to do with the quarterback. But let's be clear: hmm? the defense has stopped nobody. Yeah, some but, explosive plays here and there. Some explosive. Got the stops when it counted. Mm-hmm. Dude. Ben, don't break. Wow. They won last week's game, mm-hmm. and the defense had nothing to do with it because you didn't stop them ever. That's an explosive place. They came Some! Through. They came through. What do you think 38 points they is? They had to come up with the stops when it mattered. Oh, dude. With 38 points. The Saints, he put a stop to that Mendoza who oh. tried to flop on the field. Did try to flop. Yep. You saw him? You are the only person I know. That and okay, time and place. Hey, let's mark this. TMP thirty. Team gives up thirty eight points, and he's like, you don't think that's going to be a problem this week if they don't get better defensively? Yeah, I would like it to be better. Would like? I would like it to be better. No, if you want your team to win, I would like it to be better. You want your team to win? You want the Canes to win? Mm-hmm. Then it better be better. It's simple as that. Anybody who thinks anything differently is. Losing their damn mind. Dude, they're aware. They've had the meeting. 
They've had the meeting. Players, did they have the week? Did they players, have a meeting before last week? Weird game. You know, they made them go to the West Coast. Oh. They, you know, they had to win a game at two in the morning. Oh, you know, they goodness. tried to make them sleep de- uh, sleep deprived canes. Okay, but you know uh-huh. what they did? They put uh-huh. them in a sleeper hold. The oh. Bears. Uh-huh. Shh. Uh-huh. Shh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, and and then I'm just looking. I'm just looking at this. The, the Canes guys, Steven, of course, ah, mm-hmm. only gave up three in the fourth. You can always trust the Steven. Otherwise, you would have gave up 40-plus points. Like, I don't know why. I don't – you guys aren't worried I mean, about we, the de- – you're not worried about the defense. We'll, we'll, no, no, no. Get the size Question. of matters. You're not worried about the defense. I'd be more, I'm more concerned about untimely turnovers than I am the yeah. defense. That's who he is. I understand. Okay. But guess what the defense can't do? Give up 38. Okay. And this is this is not this is not being a hater. This is not this is facts. You're, Dude, you can't give up 38 points and win you're, consistently. You're you're encouraging on 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 hater territory, you know. Maybe we should uh, get Louisville signs, you know. Mm. Smith and Smolik, if you're getting worried about the D, Bluetooth. Oh. <laughs> so it's like everybody just everybody, everybody's got a team. Just, just go hand them out. Everybody just everybody's got a maybe they that. only scored twenty this week. Oh, what if God. Cam Ward wins the? Is it disrespectful and distasteful if Cam Ward wins the Schnellenberger Trophy and then puts on the brass boots? Oh, they don't. These boots are made for walking. Hold on. Please stop. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. the boots are bronze, dude. They don't move. Nah, he can't. No, you can't. They're just trying to get under his Yes, yeah, he's mobile. He don't can get fall. any boots. Can we take a break? Don't fall can we take a break? They go bootleg. He's great at the bootleg. <laughs> there he is. The brass Stay bootleg. hydrated, champ. Boot. There he is. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Bootleg scoop boogie. Wow. Still wait for that play. We've been yep. waiting six months for I that sh- play. I showed it to Marcos. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. Where's, the, where's the board? You give me a board, I'll do it for you. You did you say you remember it. your board. You, yeah, yeah, you, you said, said you're going to Don't blame me. Oh, uh, Leroy, uh, where's the board? I'll bring it Friday. Finally. Yeah. Thursday. I can't bring it Thursday. Mm-hmm. Doctor's appointment's early mm-hmm. in the morning. Mm-hmm. You got my, see, <laughs> stuff like that. What? That's why my veins are popping out of my legs. <laughs> Back heart, up for this. Heart rate ain't right. 